Hi, Lydia. How are you? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, you couldn't hear me. Hello, Lydia, how are you? Oh, hold on, hold on, I think. Can you hear me? Yes. All right, I, oh, I can't hear you because you're muted. There you go, I thought there was something wrong with my microphone. Yeah, but I can hear you. All right, how was school today? How was your university? Stressful. Stressful, do you really think yeah. so? Yeah, I have a lot of things to do. I, I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna sign up, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into the university again. Because I you? want to study something else, yes. But that's nice. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, you know, learn how to program. I, I'm studying, like I, I get, I have some courses in programming, but I wanna get like into that a lot, you know. Okay, that's nice. So I love study. I love it because I love it. But sometimes it's very stressful, and I and today was very very stressful. Why? Why and was I it? Was it final project? Huh? Oh, because you have a final project. Yeah, I have a project of to to create a website, but I have to to use HTML. So, oh, okay. Like, what, what, is that, what is it that you're studying again? Hmm? What is it that you're studying again? I am studying marketing. Oh, okay, right. Because you had to to uh, make a website in HTML. Yeah, but I but I I was programando. I forget to say it in English. Programming. Programming. Yeah, and that is a little bit stressful. Oh, okay. For right, me, right. I don't like that. I, I understand that. I understand that. Hey, but that's that's cool. I think that's um. I think that's that's very cool. You know, like if you learn how to program in HTML, uh, I yeah. think, you know, it, it's cool. Like it, you know, it's one of those skills that that make you look cool. You know, because it's like for smart, yeah, it's for smart cool, people. but it's it's stressful for me. I don't know why, but no. don't seem very stressful. Maybe, maybe uh, you were rushed. Maybe you were like procrastinating. Do you procrastinate a lot? You do. Procrastinate. No. You procrastinate with my, with, with the platform a lot. So. <laughs> yeah, but me no. Only in those five units. Okay. All right. So, so you don't procrastinate. No. All right. That's that's cool. That's cool. I'm gonna send a message right now. You're gonna get a message, but you know it's just a broadcast. Okay, let me a moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the problem with, you know, with sending a broadcast message is that people don't don't see that it was a broadcast, you know. Like sometimes they see that it's it's a message for themselves, right? Just like for that, with that one person. Yeah. So, anyways, welcome guys, welcome, um, Idalia, Miguel, Idalia, nice to see you. Hey, applause for Idalia for coming to class, guys. Woo, Idalia. How are you, Dalia? Hey, don't abandon me, Dalia. Come to class, join the class. You actually had some new. You know, you had some new classmates these days, and you didn't meet them. You meet yeah, them. I know, but I, I'm really sorry because of that, but I had to war with my dad, so... I know, I know, don't worry. It's why like I don't want to, but I have. <laughs> you have to, no, I understand that, I understand that. Yeah. Tell, tell, your, tell, you know, ask your dad what's more important, Are you learning or, or you know... <laughs> I know, I, what... What do you think? What do you think he'll say? Um, work, work you. <laughs> work. You think that he'll say that work? Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. So thank you so much for coming again. Uh, it's nice seeing you here so early. All right, guys. So uh, we're talking about wishes, guys. So what is something that you wish? Okay. So we're gonna have, you know, we're gonna talk about some uh, controversial topics today. So we can, you know, get started. However, guys, let's let's continue, okay? 
All right, guys, so things that you wish, okay? What is the structure that we saw yesterday, guys? Lydia, what is the structure for wishing something? Uh, the structure is wish, past simple, past continue, or cool, wool, and bear. Very good job, guys, okay? So now, if I talk about simple past, guys, if I say I wish I had, am I talking about the past or am I talking about the present or what? What am I talking about? If I say I wish I had enough money, am I talking about uh, am I talking about the present, Miguel? It's both. But okay. In this case, it's, it's mainly the present. It's both the present and the future. Okay. Because it's uh, I wish I had. I wish I had in this moment. Start off. Okay, I wish I had, okay. All right, guys. In fact, guys, we're actually talking about the present, okay? So you're talking about the present, about a real situation. What are you talking about? The present of real situation. A real situation, okay, you're right. So when you say, guys, I wish I had, do you have it or you don't have it? You don't. Okay, so I wish, guys, you use I wish. All right. Let me bring up the whiteboard. Okay, guys, so let's talk about the structure, okay? Write it, write, write it down in your novel, guys. So the structure, according to this, right? I wish plus, plus what? Actually, guys, not I wish, she, uh, subject, okay? Let's do subject plus wish or wishes, right? If it is third person, plus what? Simple present. Okay, very good. Plus simple past, actually, right? Plus simple past. Mm. All right, and that, and that and that's it, guys. Okay, so this is the structure. Thank All right, you. let's. Okay, very good. What do we use these for, guys? So let's talk about the usage. So for the present of real situations. Okay, yeah, okay, so we use it for unreal, unreal situations, right? However, okay, in this case, guys, we talk about things we don't have, all right? Things that we, things we don't have, we wish we had, all right? Present or you can change these two things we don't have, all right, and we want to have, all right? So far, so good? Mm -hmm. All right. So, example. Tell me something that you don't have right now, Lydia, and that you wish or you want to have in the future. Okay. So, I had to say you the in Some, a something life. That, you, that you don't have right now that you uh, want to have. My own house. Okay, very good. So Lydia, right, guys? Lydia is what? In the grammar test, what is Lydia? The subject. All right, she's a subject. Very good. Okay, so Lydia, wish or wishes, guys? Wishes. Wish. Very good. So Lydia uh, wishes. Now what? What would be the simple past tense of this? Lydia wishes to have. To have or? She, she has. Okay, remember, she has, right? We're talking about the past, okay? Uh, We're talking in simple past, okay? She had uh -huh. her own house. Okay, her own house. Okay, good job, all right? A plus for you, Dali, guys. Good job. Very good, okay? So, Lita wishes she had her own house. Am I talking about the past? Am I talking about the present? Or am I talking about the future? This is a sentence in the present to talk about the future, right? Yeah. Very good, guys. Okay. Now, uh, another example, right? So let's talk about uh, Miguel. Miguel, tell me something that you don't have right now that you wish you had or that you want to um, have. Let's see. A penthouse. Okay. So <laughs> Miguel. Miguel. Miguel what, guys? 
actually change that for coffee. I want to, I wish. want a, a cup of coffee. Okay, wish or wishes, guys? Wishes. Why wishes? Because he's so talking about third the person. third person, all right? What else? He had. Very good. Wishes he had. A what else? Cup. A cup of coffee. Very good. All right. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. Now, Idalia, right? Tell me something that. Let's let's do the other way. Let's do the other way around, okay? All right. What is something that you have right now? And maybe it's not an object, okay? Maybe it's an idea. Maybe it's something that is not physical, okay? So talk about something that you have right now that you don't want to have in the future. Oh. Um... That I don't have, I don't want to have in the future. Uh huh. Mm. Uh, a lot of things. <laughs> like for example, uh, I could say. Uh, you know, but, uh huh. Go ahead. Um, I'm irre uh, irresponsible. You are irresponsible. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So how do you, how do I say that, guys? All right, let's let's build that sentence. Think about it, right? So how do we do that? Yeah. Idalia, uh huh. Lydia, tell me, tell me. All right, let's. It's time for Lydia. Right? Lydia, tell me. So how will we make that sentence? Idalia. Uh huh. Wishes. Uh -huh. She had not. Okay. <laughs> she had not. Is this is this simple fast? No. No. All right, it's not simple past. She was Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's leave that with, right? Thank you, Ivalia. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Thank you, thank you, right? Uh, but when she said that she don't want, so I don't remember. I'm irresponsible. Ah. Irresponsible. So she says that she's irresponsible. Okay. So she okay. wants to be irresponsible, right? Okay. Ivalia's wish... She was annoying. I don't know. Wishes. I'm not sure. Let me think. You can do it. Just try, okay? <laughs> Everybody can do it. If someone can do it, you can do it too, right? Follow the structure. Just follow the structure. What is the structure? She wasn't being, maybe? She wasn't being. She yeah. wasn't being. Irresponsible. This is, this is a past participle. This no, is but past. I don't. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. Let's start. Let's start step by step. So she, and then what else? We got the subject of the simple past. How do you say a sentence in negative in simple past, Lydia? I'm not sure. You know how to say it. Let's go. Um, how do you say, no me gustó el café? How do you say that? I don't like the coffee. I no. didn't like. Okay, I right. see you can do it, right? That is simple past. Idalia's wish that she Wishes. That she Wishes. didn't, okay. Uh -huh. But in this case, in this case, okay, we're using the verb be, guys, because he that, okay, she said that she doesn't want to be responsible, right? So you have to say, it's a, it's, a, we're talking about the verb be, right? So Idalia wishes she, what is the past of the verb be, Idalia? I mean, Didia? The past of the what? Of the verb be. I don't know. All right, let's go, Miguel. Uh, what is the past of the verb be? Past. The past of the verb be. No, wait. Yeah, I think wasn't it what or where? Was wasn't where? Very good. Okay, so Idalia wishes. She, she was not. Very good. In this case, yeah, she weren't because we're talking about an unreal situation, right? Idalia wishes she weren't. 
so irresponsible, okay? Is it irresponsible? Very good, all right? Plus three, Dali, guys. Good job, okay? All right, very good, okay? So if you have... Let's see that that okay. Let me let me tell you something, all right? Let's let's see something I have, okay? Let's say that I have uh, an ugly car. I actually this is a reality, guys. I have an ugly car. <laughs> all right, this is my reality, okay? I have an ugly car, guys. All right. Um. So I don't. I wish you know. I wish I didn't have an ugly car. Right? I gave you the answer. Jesus Christ. Okay. So how do I say this, guys? How do I say that I that I wish that I don't want to have this ugly car anymore? How do I say that, uh, I mean, Miguel? I wish I didn't have an ugly car. I wish I didn't have an ugly car, okay? All right, so now, am I respecting, guys, the structure? Am I following subject plus wish or wishes plus simple past? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes, guys, and I'm still talking about an real situation right now, right? So do my favor, guys, everybody send me one example in first person and one example in third person, okay? All right, both of them, all right, one of them has to be positive and the other one has to be negative. Let's go. Welcome, Ellie, how are you? Good to see you. Hi, teacher. Hello. All right, guys, let's go. All right, let's take a look at those examples, guys. My family wish, now, when we talk about family, guys, my family, that is a group of people, okay? So that is a third person subject. Got it, Dalia? So let's, let's change that, okay? My family is not, yeah, my family um, is not just with a single, in, in um, in a plural form, right? Not like this. All right, so my family wishes, okay, we had a big truck. Mario wishes he wasn't so lazy. Very good job. Very good job, Italia Lidia. But I have a question. Tell me. In the first one, mm -hmm. you're, you're saying that it is not possible to say wish mm -mm. for that one. But mm -hmm. why I can why we can say we? I mean in... Um, my family wishes we had a big truck. Yeah, so, it's, it, that's also incorrect. And so that's, that would be they. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But they here are, it's not her person. It's, called, it's, called, it's, it's a problem with, with the subject of a verb, verb agreement, okay? When, oh, okay. You use, when you use a verb after my family, you have to use it in third person. When you refer okay. to your family, as a group of people, that is, you know, uh, you you say you're talking up, you're talking about they, okay, the pronoun they. Right? Okay. So my family wishes they, you know, they had a big truck. Okay. Okay. Uh, so so that one is incorrect because of that. Lydia, let's go, Lydia. Let's see. Lydia wished she had a little baby. We <laughs> get. All right, <laughs> Lydia. Remember, okay, guys, you can. We, we're going to talk about, you know, the past to wish, but right now, guys, it has to be in present form, okay? Sorry, sorry, I I forget what is, not the, sorry. All right, sorry. so how do you say it? I wish 
she, okay, Leah I wish, wishes. Third person. Yeah, yeah. All right, repeat. Lydia wishes. Lydia wishes. She, she had a little baby. Oh my God, is that true? No. <laughs> like, no okay, no. I, well, I would be like very surprised because you're like super young. All right, no. I wish I wish I didn't have a lot of fat on my. You don't have any fat on, on in your body, <laughs> body. All right. <laughs> but that's okay. I wish I didn't have a lot of fat in my body. Okay, that would be in my body. The preposition no, itself, but, but the structure is good. Miguel, I wish I had some coffee. All right, man. He wishes he didn't have a bald. A bald head. Okay. Uh, my family wishes they had a big truck. Italia. We wish we didn't have to take English classes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, Italia. Very good. Ellie. Let's go, Ellie. Where are you? All right, guys. Okay. Very good. All right, guys. So yeah, let's, let's let's play let's play five seconds, guys. Okay. All right. So. You have to answer, guys. You have to answer in five seconds. If not, you're disqualified, okay? Is it disqualified? Okay. Anyways, so you have to answer in five seconds, okay? Now, if you win, guys, okay? If you win, I know, I'll, 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 uh, we'll, we'll give you a big round of applause, okay? That's it. Or Idalia or Lydia will send you Pollo Capel, right? Very good. Um, what about the girls and Ellie? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, very good guys. So, okay, so I'm gonna pick guys. I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick the first person. Actually, you know what? The first person no 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 the last person, the person who cannot tell me the answer for what I'm gonna ask right now is gonna be my participant, okay? All right, very good. So name of creatures that live underwater. Miguel, five, four. Three, two, one, Miguel. Come on, Miguel. All right, let's go, Miguel. All right, give me a sentence, Miguel. Okay, five seconds. Five, four, three, um, two. One. I wish I could eat some fish. Very good. Okay, so I wish that's good. Okay, Miguel gets a point. I okay, Miguel. Good job, Miguel. Miguel, that was actually very good. Uh let's see. Name of creatures that can fly. Lydia. Five, four, three, two. One, all right, Lydia, your turn then. Okay, Lydia. I didn't hear you. All right, Sorry. let's go. Give me another example. Five, four, what? three. <laughs> what? I, wish... Huh? I wish I didn't have. Um, three, I don't know. two. <laughs> Lydia, no point for Lydia, guys. Just slowly. Italia, let's go. No, 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 no. Name of creatures that can't fly, right? Italia, five, four, three, two. One, too slow, Idalia. All right, Idalia, your turn. Let's go. Oh, Maria wishes he ah. had a good body. Maria wishes he had? She had, she had a, a good body. Ah, no point. No. He had a good point. Okay. <laughs> Ellie, let's go, Ellie. All right, your turn now. Ellie? You don't ask me to. No, no, because, I I mean, you. it's your turn anyway. That's why I didn't ask anybody else. Oh, my God. Let's go. Yeah, Five seconds. Five, four, three. I wish I had a bag. Very good. Okay. One point. I wish I had a bag. Okay. Whatever that means. Okay. Good job. Or you said bath, I guess. Okay. Alejandra. Give me an example, Alejandra. Let's go. Five, four, three. Alejandra. Two, one. Alejandra. Too slow, Alejandra. All right, guys. Very good. All right. So we're going to do the, we're going to do it like this. Okay. Miguel. Uh, five seconds to give me another sentence in um, give me another sentence in negative, okay? Five, four, three, Where two. Did you have to give a sentence? Very good. Applause for Miguel, guys. Woo, Miguel, good job, man. All right, Lydia, let's go. Five. Oh, you know what? Hold on, Lydia, give me a sentence in third person. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, uh, Lydia. <laughs> why? I'm sorry. It's five seconds. Okay, very good. Yeah. Idalia, let's go. Yeah. All right, Idalia, negative third person. Five, four, three, two. Lydia wishes. Uh huh? Lydia wishes. See? Two. I know. See? 
have a good five. party. Okay, all right. Lydia wishes she had a good party. <laughs> Uh, good job, Italia. Uh, she said that you wish you had a good body. No, no, she didn't have a good body. Oh, she didn't have a good body. Okay, right, right. Yeah. All right, good job, Ellie. Let's go, Ellie. Oh, did I give the point to Ellie? No. Right. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. I got confused. Does Ellie have a point? Yes or not? Yeah. Oh, she has a point. Okay, very That's good. Italia, point. you have two, right? I have a point. Very good. No, yeah. I, I got one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have two points now, right? No, no, no. Oh, just one? No. Okay, very good. Okay, right. Yeah. Ellie, let's go, Ellie. All right. Ellie, uh, third person, negative. Five. Uh, I, I wish they weren't different. No, third person, negative. That's not third person, negative. Uh, yeah, there you go, Alejandra. Let's go, Alejandra. Any, in any, in any um, tense, Alejandra, are you there? Um, okay. There you go. Uh -huh. Welcome, by the way. I didn't have a pet. Okay, you say I wish I didn't have a pet. Good job. All right, applause for Alejandro, guys. One point for Alejandro. Okay, very good. Next round, uh, Miguel. Let's go. Um, pronoun is pronoun is gonna be they. Okay, pronoun will be they. All right, let's go. They wish they could spend the all time reading novels. All time reading novels, all the, all the time. time. They, all the they time. could spend all their time reading novels, okay? So that is incorrect. No point for Miguel. All right. They wish they could spend all their time reading novels, okay? All right, very good. Uh, Lydia, five seconds. Any type of sentence that you want to make with wish, okay? Five. Okay. Oh. Uh, my dad wa wishes she wouldn't be worried. She so wear it? She no, wear it. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to give you half a point for that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Pronoun, okay, very good. All right, Italia, let's go. Any type of sentence that you want, Italia, go. Five, four. You're muted, by the way. Three, two. One, Idalia, too slow. No point for Idalia. Ellie, let's go, Ellie. You're muted, Idalia. Está muteada, right? Ellie, let's go. Any type of sentence that you want. Five. What four. I need to say. Any type of sentence that you want. Oh, my God. Five, four, three. Uh, I wish I had more time to reply. Very good. <laughs> okay. Plus for Ellie, guys. Good job. Alejandra, give me another one. Any type of sentence that you want, Alejandra. Five, four, three, two, one. Too slow, Alejandro. Okay, all right. Last, last round, you guys. Okay, this one is gonna be the subject is gonna be my family. Okay. All right, Alejandro, Miguel, let's go. My family wishes I didn't spend all my time reading novels. Beautiful. Good job, Lydia. Let's go. Family. Mm -hmm. Okay, my family wish um, they have more time to spend with me. Good structure, except that my family is third person. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Italia, let's go, Italia. Give me another one. You're my family wishes they have a big house. I'm sorry, what is it? I'm sorry. My family wishes they had a big house. Very good. Good job. Plus for Italia, guys. Good job, Italia. All right, Ellie, let's go. Give another one. Five, no? four, three, oh. two, what are you asking for? one. Too slow, Ellie. All right, Alejandra, let's go. All right, give me another one. With my family, Alejandra. Five. My family wishes they had your house a big house okay good job was really handy guys good job the winner guys miguel and a round of applause for miguel guys good job miguel a yeah, plus guys <laughs> good job all right very good so lydia prepare the pollo carpeta for miguel okay good job hey that's yeah, good that's, that's gonna be... here nice. with... all right guys so that's so did we all get, guys, how we use uh, wish? Yes, any questions, guys, so far? 
No. Now the only the only the only um the only tip that I got, the only hint that I got for you guys is right, when you're talking in third person, guys, make sure that the subject verb agreement is okay, okay? All right, this is the subject, Lydia, right? Lydia is third person, so the verb has to be in what, guys? It also has to be in third person, okay? This is the only this is the only feedback, third person. All right. The verb, guys, always has to follow the subject. The verb what? The verb what, guys? Has to follow the subject, guys. Very good. All right. Good, good, good job, guys. All right, guys. So, uh, what about what about regrets, guys? All right. Can we use this for regrets? Yeah. Yes, guys. The structure, guys. Now, the structure. Notice that the structure changes. Okay. Let's talk about. Let's talk about regrets, guys. For regrets about the past, okay? All right. Now we're gonna see, guys, a change in the structure here. All right. So first of all, guys, let's talk about the structure. Actually, regrets, okay? Let's talk about the structure. Right. Oops. All right. There you go. All right, so what about the structure, guys? Uh, how do you think the structure starts? Subject. Okay, subject, okay. What else? Write it down in your notebook because I'm gonna ask you guys. Plus what? Plus wish or wishes. Plus wish. Are you sure? Plus wish or wishes? Yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. Okay, wishes. Plus what else? Plus. Uh, Past participle. Past perfect. Past perfect, guys. Yeah. Okay. Means we use simple past in the, in the other one. Exactly. This is past perfect. Okay. So this is not simple past anymore. And what is the structure for simple for past perfect? That I can. Oh. Subject plus. plus. Have. And. Plus past participle. What is it, guys? Subject plus have plus past participle. Very good, guys. Okay, so this is a structure. Usage, guys. All right, regrets. What do we use it for? Guys, what do we use it for? Regrets. Very good. Lydia, what do we use it for? Alejandro? Regrets. Okay, we're using it for regrets, right? Yeah. Very good. So let's take a look at an example, guys. So give give me a subject, Lydia. Any subject. Um, the dog. Okay, the dog. Okay, the dog. Give Miguel. Give me the following part of the structure. Miguel. Wishes. The dog wishes. Very good. All right. Let's have the, the other part of the structure, Italian. Um, eat. Very good. Okay. Eat, eat what? Eat hot. Mm -hmm. Gone. Okay. It had gone to my house. Beautiful, guys. The dog wishes he had gone to my house. Okay, right. Uh, dogs, I don't think they wish, but the structure is correct, guys. Good job. Plus four, Idalia, Miguel, and Lydia. Good job, guys. Beautiful. All right. Hey, come on, guys. Applause to yourself, okay? All right. Good job, guys. So, next example, guys. Uh, let's talk about first person, okay? So, how will we, how will we do this? Uh, Ellie, let's go. Give me an example with uh, first person. Ellie, five, four, three. There you go. I wish I could. I wish I could. Is this past perfect, guys? No. <laughs> no past perfect. Okay, Alejandra, let's go. Past perfect. I wish. I wish I I had. Um, 
you're going okay you're doing good so far yeah but i mean with any verb or just following the first any verb one? being past participle remember I past perfect right I have gone. Yes, let's I use, let's, let's use another gone. example that is not gone guys let's use another one um, huh? travel traveled okay i wish i had traveled to england last week to england okay last week all right now let me let me ask you something guys are these regrets yes or not yes okay why are they regrets guys and where, why why what is the difference guys between this and the examples that we saw at the beginning remember in the examples in the beginning guys the examples in the beginning we're talking about things that we can still do yes or not yeah yes guys okay so we're talking about things that we still can do in this example guys we're talking about things that are impossible okay because you cannot go back to the past okay got it that's the reason why so this is for impossible things all right you regret them you cannot go back in time and do it anymore in the first example yes you have the possibility of still doing them got it so what is the difference lydia in this is impossible because right. it's the okay very good and uh the the previous example the other is possible because you are talking about the future very good okay the other example is possible because because you're talking about the future okay good job uh next one miguel now you know what alejandra uh, no alejandra we give an example miguel let's give me um give me an example now give me an example talking about your family well my family wishes what they didn't need no they hadn't need okay my family wishes they hadn't need needed they hadn't needed to be in this what lockdown wait now okay right my family wishes i can't remember the they word. hadn't needed to be in this what lockdown it's just lockdown okay work. right my family wishes they hadn't they hadn't needed to be um uh, in this lockdown okay very good okay that's a good example applause for miguel guys good job everybody send an example guys in positive and in negative okay let's go everybody in the chat room guys send an example in positive or negative and negative i'm sorry and negative All right, let's take a look at your examples. Let's see, Miguel, I wish I could have done it right. Very good. He wishes he hadn't messed up that hard. Very good job. All right, I'm waiting for everybody else. Miss, uh, not mistakes, uh, examples, guys. Lydia, uh, my mom wishes she had bought me a new car. Beautiful, that was perfect. All right, send me another one in negative now. And I'm waiting for Idalia, Ellie, and, Lena, and Alejandra. All right, Lydia, my mom wishes she had bought me. And, okay, that's the same example. Uh, I wish I hadn't ate all the pizza. Now, guys, what is the past participle of eat? Eaten. Eaten. Okay, very good. Not ate, guys. Okay, eaten. All right. They wish. Now, wish Ellie has to be in the present, okay? They wish, right? They wish and then you're missing the subject okay so you should you should have said they wished they hadn't sent it okay all right uh idalia i'm still waiting for yours yours idalia are you there 
Gidalia and Alejandro, are you there? Yes. Okay, right, very good. Uh, Alejandro says, we wish we seen more places. You're missing the auxiliary for, the, the, um, the auxiliary for past perfect, Alejandro. Okay, yeah, we wish we had seen more places. Okay, that would be correct. Very good, guys. Okay, so far so good, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Yes or not? Any questions? Lydia from 1 to 10, Miguel from 1 to 10, Idalia, Eli, Alejandra? I have like a million questions, but I, I don't like it. I will, I would like to do because I can um, waste your time. No, because it's I'm okay. Surprised. I can't you, understand you, anything right now. You can, you can ask, okay? All right, so what yeah. is it? What is it? But, but you gave me good examples. Uh, mm -hmm. No, maybe I, I'm not understanding at all. What, what are you not understanding? I don't know where where am I wrong if I if I si lo supiera if I will know. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you mean your, the example that you you said you don't know why your example is, is no. Correct. Maybe I'm very confused about that. Just okay. I need to study more about this. Stuff. All right. Let's talk about your okay. example. All right. I'm gonna paste your example here. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So you are gonna explain it to me. ¿Qué te dijo tu hijo de, de la salida? ¿Qué te dijo de que la mandemos de sacona? All right, guys. All right, so guys. So, uh, so Ellie, let's take a look at this. So, are, is this following the structure, Ellie? What is the first part of the structure, Ellie? Let me show you how I'm looking. Uh, okay, first of all, can you see can, the structure? I can see, I can see the, the, la pantalla. Let me see. Let me, sh let me show you. You can't see the screen? All right. Um, Take, take, guys, do me a favor. Can you take a screenshot and just send it to the WhatsApp group so can so Ellie can see it? If that's a problem, can you can everybody else see the screen, guys? Yes. Yes, Miguel. Yes, Lydia. All right, very good. Okay. All right, Ellie. Can you see the screen now? No. Okay, very good. Did you take a screenshot? Take a screenshot. Okay, very good. Oh, okay, I see why now, but that's because of your cell phone. <laughs> All right, yeah, that, that looks weird. Let's send. Okay, anyway, so they sent uh, the image to the WhatsApp group, Ellie. All right. So, Ellie, what is the structure that you see there? Okay, take a look at the, the WhatsApp group and uh, and let's talk about the structure that you see there. So what okay, is the I first gonna, part? What is the first wait, part of the structure that we see there? I'm gonna turn off my microphone because the noise. All right. <laughs> Whenever you can hear, we're gonna uh, talk about that then, okay? Just explain. I, I can't I can't understand what you're saying, I'm sorry. All right guys, so is everybody else clear, guys? The the reason why this is incorrect, guys, is because let's explain this. So what are we missing here, Lydia? What is wrong with this sentence? First, I think the verb. Which verb? Send. Send? Yeah. Okay, all right. So they wish hadn't. This You say that this verb is incorrect. No, let me think. Ah, first, the wish is not with B, it's with S. Very good, okay, very good, okay. This has to be in present, right? If you take a look at the structure above, it says subject plus wish or wishes plus past perfect, okay? What else? Maybe because my care board, I, I, I got it in English. Maybe it's just uh, el autocorrector, autofill, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> okay, all right. Very but, good, all right. Yeah. Okay, all right. Then, then what else, guys? What else, Miguel? What else is wrong with this sentence? 
they lack a subject in the second part there. Very good. They wish, and what is the subject that we should be using here? What is the pronoun that we should be using here? They. They, okay. They wish they, okay. Hadn't, okay. Sent it. Then. Okay. This is the right way to say it, guys. They wish they hadn't sent it, okay. All right, very good, guys. Is it clear, guys? Is this part clear? Clear as tequila? All right, very good. Yes. Yeah. All right, then. Okay, so let's talk about the third use for this, guys. Okay, let's talk about... I'm given my parents such a hard time. All right, let's talk about... Uh, um, let's talk about regrets, guys, with if, okay? All right, do we remember, guys, how to use if, how to use the if clauses? Okay, all right, let's talk about this, guys, okay? This is called if I had gotten, if I had, if I had gone to the, um, to the airport on time, or if I had arrived, okay, if I had arrived to the airport on time, I would have reached the plane. Okay, guys, so now, guys, what do you think? Is this a regret, guys? Yeah. Okay, right. Now, notice something, guys. This is called... This is called a third conditional. A lot of people have issues with this, guys, with this specific topic, right? How do we call this, guys? Third conditional. All right, this is a third conditional. Write it down, guys, because this is a very complicated topic. You'll see, guys, you'll see that you'll struggle with, with this, okay? Third conditional, all right? What do we use it for? All right, mostly guys for regrets. What do we use it for? Regrets. We we use it for regrets, okay? Notice guys that we're not using the word wish, right? So let's see guys. Tell me something, Lydia, that you regret in real life in real life. Tell me something that you regret. Let me think. All right, think about it, and then I'm going to ask you again. Miguel, tell me something that you regret. Oh, I have it. Okay, all right. Let's go, Lydia. Uh, I wish I had traveled. I have what? I had traveled. 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 traveled um, to USA. Okay. Today, you so you regret this, that you didn't travel to United to the United States, okay? All right, so let's let's talk about your regret, okay? So not traveling to the USA. So this is your 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 regret. Very yeah. good, Miguel. What is your regret, Miguel? Let's see. Not fin not finding the not finding out that uh -huh. uh, the novel that I really liked was already finished. And I was just, how do I say, it? waiting for more chapters to come out. Okay, all right. So not finding out the novel that, really okay, the novel, the novel you really like had already. Okay, all right. Had already finished. Okay, Uri, that's a weird regret, but okay. Uh, Idalia, what is your regret? What is one of your biggest regrets in life? Um, not losing enough weight when I could do it. Okay, not losing enough weight. Okay, very good. I understand that. Uh, Ellie, what is your biggest regret? Ellie, <laughs> Alejandro, what is your biggest regret, Alejandro? 
Ale Alejandra. Huh? Not being um, enrolled in more classes. Not being enrolled in more classes. Okay. Very good. In more courses, you mean. Very good. All right, guys. So these are all the regrets, okay? So now, how can I transform them, okay? Let's talk about Lydia, okay? So if, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, if Lydia had traveled to the United States, she would have felt happier. Uh, let's, let's, yeah, let's, let's do that, okay? So if Lydia had traveled to the United States, All right, she would have been happy, okay? Or she would have been, whatever, guys, you can use that. You can you can translate that. You can you can actually use a different type of idea, all right? Not finding out, not finding out about, not finding out the novel you really liked. Okay, all right, so Miguel, if Miguel had found out the novel he really liked had already finished, he would have ended up reading it, okay? All right, very good. Uh, let's see the next one, Italia. Not losing enough weight, okay? So if Italia had lost enough weight, you could say, you can change this, okay? If Italia had, let, an example, right? Let's, let's talk if David, okay? If David had exercised more, he would have lost enough weight to go to the beach, okay? Right? Very good. Uh, last example. Uh, not being enrolled in more courses, okay? If Alejandra had enrolled in more courses, she would have felt complete, okay? All right. All right, guys. So if I say this, guys, am I talking about regrets, yes or not? Guys? Yeah. Yes, I am talking about regrets, right? All right, guys. So I, I don't see you writing down, but I will give you the structure, guys. So what is the structure for this, guys? I did. Very good. So a subject plus what else? Plus track conditional. First of all, if, okay? Plus the if plus, okay? If plus okay. Subject, subject plus had guys plus what else Seem past perfect plus past participle oh past participle i mean past perfect this is this is whole past perfect subject plus had plus past participle is past, past perfect okay all right so subject had past participle um plus, plus complement okay. now plus complement okay okay complement plus Subject plus would actually plus any model, guys. Okay, any model that includes would, could models in the past. Okay, more could, would, might, must, etc. Uh, All right, plus model plus have. Okay, plus past participle plus complement. All right, did you write that down, guys? So that yeah. is the structure, guys. That is the structure for the third conditional, okay? All right, things that you regret. If you wanna, I, 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 I don't like speaking Spanish, guys, but just so you make your, just to make your life easier, this is exactly what we say. Hey, si hubiera comprado las tortillas a tiempo, hubiera comido hoy, right? Hubiera, hubiera. That, if I had, es hubiera, if I, if, you know, and uh, I would have had, had, uh, es hubiera as well, guys, right? If I had gone to the supermarket, 
I would have uh, I would have bought some food. All right. Very good. Before we leave, guys, okay, give me one example. Everybody send me one example in the chat room, and I'm going to ask you right now. Miguel, give me one example. Yeah. Whenever it's... If I have my dogs... I'm sorry, Alejandra, I think she's talking. I'm sorry, what, what was that, Alejandra? I'm sorry, yes. Whenever it, uh, you use if only, is it different in structure? Or is it kind of the same thing? Whenever you use F only, what do you mean F? If only. If only. It's for oh, example. if only is a different thing. If only, right? <laughs> if only I had not gone to the supermarket that day. He's hungry, right? Right? It's, yeah. So this is like saying si tan solo, guys, okay? However, the structure, guys, it's if only plus subject plus, um, plus past perfect, right? If only I had not gone to the supermarket that day, I wouldn't have, right? And it follows the same structure that we're seeing. So to answer your question, yes, you can use it with the same structure, all right? Okay. Good question, Alejandro. All right, okay, guys. So, uh, but we're not seeing if only right now, guys, okay? So don't use if only for now. All right, uh, so same examples, guys, okay? Miguel, give me your example. Let's see if, I have more time. Ah, uh, if I have more time, it's simple past. That's incorrect. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If uh huh, I have. Yes, if I have found. Found. No. Okay. More novels. More novels. Okay. I probably have already finished them. I uh, probably. I? Do you mean I? Yep. I probably have already finished them too. I probably. I probably have already. I've. I've probably okay. Are you sure? I probably had already finished them. Ah, uh, that's incorrect, sir. It's the I. Makes it have, I'm pretty sure. Uh uh. What is what is what is I'd? I would. Very good. What is would? What is would in grammar? It's. Uh, you a take model. a look at the screen. Take a look at the screen. A model. model. It's a model. Okay, right. What do model? What what do models do? Modify the verb. Okay, the verb has to be in what form to be modified? In, what was it? Base form, you cannot modify verbs that are not in base form, okay? I would have, that's why people say I would have, okay? I would have, okay, got it? Mm -hmm. I would have. Okay, I would have, uh-huh. Or I, I would have, right, whatever, uh-huh. I really finished reading them. Already finished reading them. Okay, good job, plus for Miguel, guys. Good job, okay? We're gonna have a lot of practice with this, guys, because this is like probably one of the most difficult topics for people to speak with fluency when they're when they're learning English, all right? Uh, from experience, I can tell you that, okay? I, like all my students have been, you know, usually struggle with being fluent with this, okay? All right, so guys, uh, that's it, guys. Do you have any question? No question, all right. Tomorrow, we do not have a class, okay? I will see you guys until monday it's been a pleasure guys thank you alejandro thank you ali dalia miguel and lydia you guys are awesome thank you for being here goodbye and happy weekend guys enjoy and good merry night. christmas bye good night you guys. Good night. Bye. see you guys